everybody, it's Crazy Fango Shine. We hope you guys are having an amazing day and oh my god, the day has come finally where we are able to react to an episode TV show again and this time it's Mandalorian Season 2. Oh, I've been waiting for so long and I've been wanting to get back into doing episodic reactions for so long and finally we are going to and of course it had to be The Mandalorian. So The Mandalorian Season 2, we've all been waiting for this. We left it on a big cliffhanger and now there's so many rumors about the different characters that are going to be in this show and just ah oh, Din Djarin and Baby Yoda and just oh my god and the trailer as little as it was and as little as it did show I'm excited because it just looks incredible I'm ready I've got my space ones ready I know space ones aren't really in this part of the Star Wars segment Thing. I did it in Clone Wars anyway, so I'm doing it again because it's a thing. <laughs> and I thought I'd do my buttons for the premiere, so why not? Anyway, we're going to jump into this. I'm very excited and yeah. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. <laughs> I'm fine. He's so cool. For a man who says so little, he's so cool. Oh, they're starting off with this right off the bat. Nice. <laughs> Get him. Oh, what the hell, man? That's sick. That's sick! And just- oh, The Marshal. Wait, just before we go further, I love the way, even with the fighting in this particular version of, like, Star Wars Mandalorian, especially because with, with the lightsabers and obviously the Jedi, we see how, like, almost, like, swan-like they move. They're very, like, not genteel, but they're, like, um, what's the word? Suave and very, like- there's another word I'm looking for, I can't think of it now, but- but though I like how it's kind of a bit messy, um, because you know, like he um, obviously has to be in tune and in balance with his armor. So sometimes he does get a little stumbly off his feet, and I do like the way that he used the best scar to his advantage, which is like you know, like he hit his head against the fist when it was coming at him. Like that's so cool. I find those little things like really like intricate and just really like cool and yeah even with the fighting I love how it's not absolutely perfect like there are some moments where it's needed but when it's messy sometimes it's necessary so I really like that but anyway Pelly oh wait yeah the bounty hunter that was here completely forgot that this was here I'm trying to think what else could be there. All oh, the knowledge come to my mind. <laughs> oh, look at Baby, Baby Yoda in the back just chilling. chilling. <laughs> and like, even I notice, I'm just gonna quickly pause again. Um, like, even just like how much more talkative and a little bit more trustworthy Din is, and that just shows a lot of character development. Obviously, there hasn't been much time since, um the time on Navarro happened, so, and obviously they have said there's not much time that's passed, um, so it's very interesting to see how he's, like, more open, obviously, to, f like, asking for help, and we saw this in season one where he barely would ask anybody for help, so I think it's, like, really cool to see that happening a lot, even just so quickly already, they're showing, like, he's more open to asking for help and stuff, like, that's interesting, and I like it, and he's, at least he's a little bit more nice than to Pelly. Oh, already not, not liking, liking the vibe. vibe. <gasps> Is it Boba? <laughs> oh 
That's Bubba. Bubba. Oh, oh damn. damn. Who are you? I'm Cobb Bands, Marshal of Los Pelgo. Where did you get the armor? Find off some jobs. Hand it over. Wait! I can't. Oh, this is the thing. I should have checked before restarting this season because. Oh, the timeline. So is it? Yeah, this is after the first. Is this after the first? No. Because Ahsoka is apparently in this season as well. So it can't be the first Empire Falling. So is it the second one? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Wait, I need to double check just in case. Because I don't want to get this wrong. Because that's why I was like, wait, what? Ah, okay. So it's like... Ugh. Because, no offense, I don't watch the new... Like, I've watched the new movies, but, like... Eh. <laughs> so it's after all that. So it's just before The Force Awakens. Okay, cool. What is that? Oh, no. Thing. Oh no. Oh what? <laughs> thank God. I don't know why I'm saying thank God. That's really. Oh, the music. Oh my God. Star Wars feels. Oh. So good. Oh, there it comes. Wait, is it- if it's traveling like that, won't it just move all the explosive- Okay, never mind. This just reminds me of, like, Dune at the moment, when it's gonna come out. Cause all the floaty sand things. How do they do that? Is that, like, CGI or puppet? That's awesome. Oh, run, 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 run. I think that's half puppet, half CGI? Oh. Wait, did it just dig into the ground? Oh no, it's gonna go- Like that? Yep. Oh, wait, what? Okay. That was a totally different place. Oh. Oh, yes. Go for it. Come on. Oh. Someone look after the baby. Oh, nice. You're going to take care of the child. What are you going to do? I don't know. Wish me luck. Oh, what? Din, please don't be an idiot. What are you doing? No. Oh my god. Oh, please, please, over. Oh. Oh, yes, his electricity thing. Oh my god, that was so cool. <laughs> yes, it did. Oh. God dang it, that was cool! Nice pacing of the fight! Oh, very impressive. Oh! What a shot, that's sick! Oh! Wait. Who's that? Hold on a second. I... Who is that? Tatooine. Uh, I'm trying to think of anyone who, like, could be there. Who is that guy? It's not... Is that the guy who was at the end of last season? Not the end of last season, but he was in... On Tatooine. And found the dead body of the bounty that was on... In Tatooine as well. <sighs> I'm, I don't know who it is. God damn. Or maybe that wasn't him last season, but who is that? I'm guessing we're going to see more of him. Okay. Okay, guys. So, um, I'm in the middle of editing and this is post 
shy me coming to you guys live. Um, but yeah, I <laughs> I was thinking about that guy who's at the end of the episode. I was like, oh yeah, he's familiar. I don't know why. And uh, I went and looked and I was like, oh wait, he's the guy who plays the clones in the movies. And I was like, oh wait, who it could it be? It's Burbusser. Yeah, <laughs> it was Burbusser. God damn it. <laughs> ah. Um, but oh my god, guys, what an episode. I, damn. I was, okay, um, I will say, and this kind of like leads on from last season even as well, because I feel like these episodes are very, not very slow paced to the point where it's boring, but in the first season of The Mandalorian and this episode, obviously seeing for season two is the first episode, it is a little bit slow paced. The same thing, I'm not complaining because I was expecting it. Um, and oh my god. Guys, oh, but the pacing of that fight was really good. Like, there was obviously, like, kind of, like, broken up into three different parts. And I really liked that. That was really, really good. And just the music. Oh, my God. Like, I'm jumping from different thing to thing. But oh, about that fight, the pacing was amazing. The music was amazing. And just even for the whole episode, the music is a little bit more, like, I think a bit more futuristic and a bit more like taking a risk on what um, music it's using and I kind of like it it's a new like take on it and I love the music that was playing when um the two different like peoples came together and oh that was good I really really liked that um and just oh it gave me chills and thank god they're putting more like you know not only are they getting like a bigger obviously like a budget but they're putting the budget into all the different departments um so obviously they probably have more money to make more music and obviously the dude the CGI and the like the the fight in that was amazing and it looked like half puppet and half like cgi but really well done so it was like a mixture and you can tell oh that was great and again as always like the makeup and everything in this like show is always on top of its game so that was all fine but oh, so good and again a little bit slow paced for my liking but overall it's fine and again like the armor for boba fett i was like Wait, is that him? But then obviously, like, with the timeline being right, he obviously wouldn't be alive. So, <sighs> the Jawas got the armor? I'm like, I, I literally can't remember. I need to go back and actually watch the movies before next week's next episode. Because, like, my mind's, like, all frazzled. I'm like, wait, what? Going to Din Jaren, the Mandalorian. Oh, Again, like, even, like, so quickly in this first episode, we can see, like, how much he's changed since the last season, and even just, like, the last episode that we did get, he's changed so much, and, like, even though the armorer was saying, like, you gotta be careful, because this is a youngling, um, he obviously has the force, etc., but, like, you know, he's so much more open to trusting people that he knows in his circle, which is great to see, like, for example, Pelly. And even, like, after getting to know, I think it's Carl Vant, after such a short amount of time, you can see, like, how he's also trying to, like, share his knowledge with him and, like, you know, to be patient and, you know, like, try and, like, work things out with, like, this other, like, you know, I think it's the Sands people who he's, like, saying, like, you know, like, even though you've had troubles, you know, with each other, like, try and work it out to, like, come together on this one, like, problem that you're both suffering from. And even for Din, I was, like, damn boy like you learned real quick um but also just like the character development as well like in accepting um like obviously the child like obviously like saying like that's kind of like your son like your ward um your charge so like for him to like you know like be a little bit more like closer to him and stuff and just like the way like things like you know like positioning him closer to him because he, he would always keep space between him and the baby but now he's like kind of keeping him close and stuff so that's kind of cute and yeah again like to see the character development already is so good and I really liked it and I hope we get to see obviously more of it throughout the rest of the episodes and oh already off to a really great start. But I am wondering what he is going to do with the armor. Whether he's going to give it back to the armorer. Or I I'm guessing he's going to go back to Navarro very quickly to give that armor back. But yeah. I wonder like if he recognizes that armor as Boba Fett. So I'm guessing he doesn't. So I'm hoping to see like if somebody else sees the armor and is like... So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the first episode of season two of The Mandalorian. Again, I'm super psyched about this show. 
<sighs> and just already my adrenaline is pumping it's great already and it looks just amazing so i'm so excited to see like what else is in store for us and obviously there's different characters that are supposed to be in this season and I'm wondering where the story's gonna go and just like what's gonna happen to Din and his character development and even with the other characters. So I am very excited and just looking forward to it. Oh, yay. I am not sure if I'm gonna always do it on a Friday though, just because with this episode, it literally came out this afternoon and then the light went away so quickly now because of daylight savings here. So I might move uploading my episodes onto Saturday instead and filming it on Saturday. So. I'll see how I go, just because like um, <laughs> like the lighting isn't the best. I'm using my phone light, unfortunately, because I don't have another light that's good enough to look nice. Um, but I'll I'll see how it goes, and if not, I'll just use my phone light, and we'll go with the flow. <laughs> so again, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!